is pal but man. They like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. So in case you didn't uh, figure it out, we're playing Cuphead. I haven't played this before, I've seen bits of it, uh, we're gonna just play as Cuphead himself. Mugman, I like his nose better, but I mean, the game's named after him. So I haven't played this before, I'm sure I'm gonna die an awful lot, but well, I'm gonna try my best. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mudman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home and, despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mudman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. <laughs> nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your soul. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy wretches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good golf, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes! laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as in sea loomed over them. Now about those souls! The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Y yes, but please, Mr. Cuphead added. Mm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. Have you a list of my runaway debtors? Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, come on, Mug! panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle, he'll know what to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got something like cut in my throat there. What a fine pickle you guys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns on, of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. They will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Mm, still in my uh, throat a little bit. Let's do the tutorial. I thought about maybe making a joke about how the tutorial is really hard and I can't beat it, but I feel like that's probably overplayed. I also feel like I uh, am going to get some bad karma for joking about that. Because honestly, I don't, I haven't played too many, like, what is this, a running gun shooter? So I'm not, uh, confident in my skills. But we'll see how this, uh, goes. As you can see, I actually already played the tutorial. Just to get an idea. So it wouldn't have even been fair to make fun of someone who just wouldn't be able to handle it. 
And I'm not mean. I don't make fun of people. I don't bully. So please don't bully me when I suck at the actual game. I like this little open world section. Let's talk to Applejack here. Sorry, I had to set up because my throat, I am feeling my throat being a little awkward right now. Hey fellas, it looks like you're in for a now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting, but now I prefer to strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand, take this. I probably will not have uh, voice problems for every dialogue. You see three gold coins. Might be a little too much for me to handle. So I have four now, because I guess I actually collected the one from the tutorial. See, it was worth it. Let's go to Pork Grinds Emporium and buy things. What a cool guy. That was a very scary way for him to say welcome. I like eye patches anyway, so he's, he's cool. Pork Grind's a cool guy. Uh, Chaos Orb, long range with below average damage, no aiming required, so it tracks. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Probably not worth it. I think you only have one slot for things like this, and then you have like two shooting styles. Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Shotgun Blast. You will not take damage during a dash. Great defense maneuver. That does sound pretty good. Probably want that. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backwards for maximum range. This looks like a boomerang. I think I'm gonna go Shotgun Blast. And then there's a Lobber. Good damage with slower rate of fire. Obviously looks like it Goodbye. has an arch to it. I remember there's like a charge shot that used to be super powerful, but I think they actually patched it to not be as strong. They nerfed it. They nerfed it in Cuphead, a single player game. You gotta equip those and new purchasers if you want to use them. Look at your equipment card, you bums. Let's hit the wrong buttons there. So yeah, you have two slots, a super, and then charms. And I think the heart would be one charm, and I think that dash would be a different one, so we can only equip one thing at a time. So I'm not gonna worry about that. I cannot talk to Mr. Coin. Like I said, I've seen bits of this game. So I have a good general idea of, uh, you know, how to do things. Oh. Didn't actually realize that was the shortcut. I didn't think you'd actually have to explore the map. Is that even the coin behind this? Wait a minute. I'm exploring everything now. I, I like this little mini map thing. Let's talk to Axe here. What are you looking at, my chip? Ha! It's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. Don't help me, I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. I didn't think there would be so many actual people talking to me. Oh, that's going into the fight. I do not wish to do that. There's like a shiny over here. I want to get shiny. I don't want to talk to you, Axe Man. Okay. Let's uh, not shortcut because I want to take it a bit slow as far as, like, you know, doing maybe the first actual thing. Let's do a run and gun. Let's not do the main uh, gimmick of the game, which is boss fights. Let's do the part that isn't boss fights. Now, go! And L is to switch. Okay. Let's get away from me. Let's start blasting. I know that with these running guns, I think the best ranking, because everything's ranked, you can get is pacifist by not killing anything. I'm not too confident in my skills right now to do that. Shotgun seems really good for these sections, honestly. I also like how prickly it looks. Let's not shotgun. Oh, he jumps. Ah! I made a terrible mistake. Okay, I'm good. Let's shotgun again. So this is pink and I can do that. 
And that'll charge up my super meter, which is the little cards, right? Okay. Hopefully I can get the timing down on that. I feel like that's important. I feel like everything's important, really. Yeah, nailed it. Timing on that seemed a little awkward. Okay. Good. This acorn bothers me. Ah, I don't like flying enemies. They, like, always spawn in. I don't like when I can't... Oh, hello. You're the acorn man? That was actually very quick. I don't know how you would avoid him. I don't like these piranha plants flying. And I don't like that you came back when you did. That looked like a bit of a scummy position. Hey, we did it! Good job. I think those sections are mainly to get the coins. Because I don't think you get coins from boss fights. Brand new record. Cool. If only I... I guess my time was probably bad. I feel like that would probably get yellow too. Probably can get an S rank, but I don't know if that even matters if you do the pacifist stuff. Yeah, Cuphead! So I can actually afford the dash thing now, which is convenient. Seems like it would be worth it. Automatic parry, the first parry move is automatic, all you need to do is jump. See, like, in my head, invincibility frames are way more important than anything else. It's why I desperately liked the uh, Shadow Dash power in Hollow Knight, because it just added to the invincibility frames. I know it's probably not the best option in Hollow Knight, but I prefer it more. Seems better in my opinion. We'll go down here so I can maybe talk to Coin Man. Photonic Panic! I didn't realize you can change difficulty there. I remember, because, you know, obviously the tutorial thing got people in a hissy about difficulty in video games. Oh, there's Potato Man! Okay. Good start. Probably should start shooting. Good start. That worm looks like I can parry it. But it looks... Looks so far away, and I probably don't want to be shotgunning. I killed him. I remember, like, so obviously the tutorial guy... Actually, I do know some stuff about this. I think the Switch version, there's like a unique way to fight this boss. And I, feel, I think there are other bosses that are unique. It seems really... Hard to find a parry spot. Oh, I can kill the carrots. Okay. Good stuff. I feel like just getting far away is better. Especially since I took way too much damage from Potato. So with like the... People making fun of man who's not good at tutorials. I, I, I'll finish my thought eventually. I know there was a lot of... Talk about difficulty in video games as there always is when difficult things happen. Made a mistake! Good thing I had that dash. Hey, did it! Um, and part of the thing that people were complaining about is if you play on, what was it, beginner difficulty, which I don't know what that does, if it gives you more health and them less health, you, uh, yeah, I didn't parry at all. 
Those those parries seem hard to get. But if you don't play on the like normal difficulty, you will not be able to beat the game. I don't know where it actually stops you. But I know it stops you at some point. You got the root pack soul contract. Nice. So I want to actually look, see if I can, if I remember how this works. I don't know how the other ones work, but there's like unique kind of boss mechanics that you can do that I think were added specifically for the Switch version. Yeah. Is it every third? Nope. Didn't mean to do that either, but I did it. Damn it, I... It seems hard to time that. Okay, so... The onion guy comes out next, right? And I believe if you do not hit him, he doesn't actually attack you. And then it'll move on to a different phase. Yeah, he loves it! Look at him! Oh, God! So I think the idea here is that it makes the... I'm lean, mean, and full of better carotene. I think the idea there is that it um, makes the fight technically shorter, but a lot harder, because it's... I would like to retry that. Because it's, um, you know, it's a carrot phase, but with the little radish coming at you. But because it's the carrot phase, that's the last phase. You didn't have to worry about onion. Finally got one. Yeah, I got two. I'm the champ. Probably don't want to get too close to onion here. He's just a scared little boy. He loves it. Alright, I need to prepare for... Scary Radish, I was not prepared. Can I beat Scary Radish? Oh, he's... He's difficult. That is pretty hard. Alright, let's not worry about that. Exit the map. We already beat the boss, I don't have to prove anything. Let's talk to Coin. Cup, will be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. Well, I know the devil's probably controls the place, too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say, huh? I think I saw one, though. Look at that fish, it's fishing. It's a boat. Let's, uh... Clear this area. Ruse of news! Open up the map, and then maybe we can just do whatever. Good day for well I like your hat, mister. Good. Oh, I didn't think he'd bounce off the wall like that. I uh, also didn't think that through. Let's try that again. With a face like mine, is it a crime to be bouncing all the time? Is it a crime to be bouncing all the time? A great plan of probably should just make shotgun my default. That probably would make things better. So I don't know... Okay. Didn't think that through, did I? Also, I was still inside of him. Cool. Pop oh god, he's just much larger now. I'm a handsome slime bringing pain, one bounce at a time. Man, the vegetables were way easier. This guy's actually doesn't seem too bad, it's just I'm doing an awful job at recognizing the trajectory. Like that. I can also very much take this a lot slower, and that would probably help me greatly. 
God, that trajectory. Damn it, I was trying to hit all three. I'm gonna... Exit the map real quick. All of my, uh... Luck just went into those first two levels, and now I'm just not gonna be able to handle it. Change that to shotgun. Because I think, like, it does more damage, right? Pretty sure? I have to be a bit closer, but considering how this guy moves, it seems like it's actually worth it. Also, maybe need to consider my invincibility frames. Haven't really tried to dash through attacks yet. Didn't think that would actually hit me. I thought I'd have a bit more space there. Okay. There are some times when it almost looks like it's free for me to... God damn. I... I want to try to get the three. Might not be worth me risking it. Let's try to be a bit farther away from him. Didn't think that bounce would be so bouncy. Also, still didn't think I would be close enough when he does his fist. Okay. Maybe I should try to just use the normal. Then I don't have to worry about even being close to him at all. That would make things a lot easier. I'm going to retry, though. A great plan. A lot easier. Because it's like the width of the arena. I still didn't think he would come at me like that. Mm, at least I got two of them. Uh, that looks like I could still duck it. Yeah, this seems significantly better. I thought he would bounce quicker, and then I kill myself. Yeah, that works a lot more. Oh, handsome slime. Almost got to the next phase, too. I do think shotgun was doing more damage, but maybe I should use D-pad. D-pad would help. It'll make me feel like I have more control. And isn't that all you want is control? Oh, I almost got three. I did not think that would be such a wide jump. Okay. Oh, the, I get um real confused about him bouncing against a wall. Which isn't the best excuse, but it's my excuse. Let me try. I need to just do the dash. Ugh! Like right there. I don't have the muscle... Like, not memory, muscle... Reflex. Hey, got three. This'll be the run. Mm. Also, like, forgive me, but it's kind of weird to have... Dash be uh, X. I know I can switch the controls, but... I just need to get used to it, really. And obviously, the dash is super unnecessary. Since it's a bonus. It's just something that would really help me out.
and I keep forgetting to do it. Like, look at that. Didn't really need to do it there, but... I'm the parry master. Oh, I, um... Kind of was expecting him to do the fists move. That dash didn't really come out when I wanted it to. Right, we know he has another phase. Oh, he... Can't run past the grave. I'm very smashing, even in grave situations. Also, it did not seem like I was doing damage, so I think I have to attack his face. God damn. I'm way too slow on the dash. I also should have expected that to happen. Mr. Slime, hardest boss ever in video game history. It'll all be very simple from here on out, though. It might help if I just play defensively, though. God damn it, I thought he would jump sooner. So I thought that if I ran ahead, it would work. I also thought I'd have more time there. Okay. Not a large dash distance. This is where I need to actually learn some mechanics. Mm. Oh, I'm like inside of him. Don't be inside of him. Iframes after taking a hit is pretty forgiving. Had a lot of time for that one. Oh, damn. I, I don't know. I keep thinking that it's going to be a much wider jump, and it really isn't. I don't know why... It's not. Oh, I, he was ready for his jump and then he was dead. It's really not difficult. It's just I need to get used to controls. It's a simple man who jumps a lot. Like, what else is there to it? Maybe switching when I have, like, a free hit would be good there. Can kind of take advantage of the situation, right? Ooh. Tried to hit L for a dash, which was a mistake. Don't know why I, that was in my head. Okay, let's uh, try to not suck. Mm, I, I, again, I tried to hit L for a dash, which is uh, real stupid, and I thought I was far enough away from that. The controls are weird for me. The reason I don't want to switch the controls is I feel like at this point I'm just gonna psych myself out. That is not quite uh, big yet when I'm still trying to do that. Ah, 
Ah, uh, damn it. Close one. Mmm, still not doing good. Everything else was super slick. And he's such a friendly looking slime too. Oh, I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. That time I at least realized the area I was in wasn't worth it. Try to uh dash with L again. I don't think I've seen many games where a face button is the dash. I I can do this easily. I'm just gonna do the dash as soon as I see him. Gotta just be careful. Maybe follow him around a little bit. As long as I'm not in like a corner, I might accidentally dash into the corner. I don't even think my super really helped me out there. I'm taking this part slow now, because I feel like I've uh, dealt with Slime Boy way too much. Seems like it's kind of hard to aim at him. And, like, and not really. I guess I could have just stood still and actually tried aiming with the R button. But God knows I didn't want to have to keep doing that. That was embarrassing. I got the three parries though. Skill level is two. I think that just means because I didn't play on baby difficulty. Hey, was a B minus? That's not a D. Or an F. Or a dropped out of school because you're not very good. We did it. Goopy Legrand. Got the Goopy Legrand soul contract. Very good. 